In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good people, today it is Tuesday, so we are counting tomorrow Wednesday, and Thursday we start the novena, Thursday. It is 15 days novena for claiming the year 2022. And I will be saying something on prayer as the week uh, progresses. But what is so important today, allow me to talk about uh, the intimacy we have with God. The journey of prayer, sometimes it's not as easy as we think. Because we can remain Christians, but not deep in our spirituality. Now, how does this progress? We start with God the Father. I know that all of us know God the Father. We know God. That is step number one of our growth. After knowing God, we we mature, we become more mature, and then we enter into Christ. Not everybody knows Christ. Not everybody accepts Christ. And this is where maybe the confusion would be. Because we think, now that we know God, that's all that we need. We know everything. <laughs> it is not true. There is the question whether we know Christ. Knowing Christ is deeper than saying that uh, Jesus is my personal savior. Knowing Jesus is deeper than saying that uh, my redeemer lives. Knowing Christ is deeper than just, like Father C.K., just saying, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, God is good all the time, all the time God is good. But there is that uh, level of intimate, intimate connection. It is when that we are intimately connected with Christ and to Christ that we go to the third and the higher level of being guided by the Spirit. It is at that point that we are able to spiritually properly design. Discernment is not for everyone. Life in spirit is not for everyone. It is for those who have graduated to the third level. Now, what happens when we graduate to the third level? What happens? Remember yesterday I demonstrated the two-chair format of prayer. And I would want to say that the format I did explain yesterday Remind us of somebody who is deep into Christ. This is not just a Christian who is doing it because our church is doing it, or our pastor said, or our priest said, or our bishop said, or whatever, whoever said. But this is somebody who has discovered something, and that is my word. When, when, when... When we know Christ, when we are deep and guided by the Holy Spirit, there is a now a level of discovery. We start knowing who we are. Dear good people, allow me to say something about where we worship. Because that is where most of us, if not all of us, will miss it. Because we associate our churches with the salvation. We associate our churches with seeing the face of God. Um, the face of God. We associate our churches to righteousness. It is not true. In fact, allow me to say this openly and without fear of any contradiction, that we, if we are not careful, the churches where we worship 
will be the reason why we will never see the face of God. If you didn't know, now you know. Can I say it again? If we are not careful, the churches where we worship will be the reason why we will never see the face of God. Because as we worship in our various churches, the more divided we become. Can you imagine? So, when we have matured to level three, there is now the moment of discovery. And the Bible is so clear on these discoveries. Number one, we discover that we are now children of God, not children of a certain institution, not children of a certain individual who calls me my spiritual daughter, my spiritual, my spiritual son, my whoever, my whoever. <laughs> I don't know whether it is next Sunday. Yes, next Sunday, coming sun Sunday, the third Sunday of Ordinary Time, we'll be talking about, um, about what? We'll be talking about slavery. Forms, two forms of slavery. And we'll be talking about the second form of, of slavery, whereby we will realize that religion can be a form of slavery. We can be enslaved, where we want to live under the umbrellas of persons and individuals. The moment we have matured spiritually, we will know for a fact, in fact, we will discover that we need only one umbrella of our Father in heaven. Kindly read First John chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. That is a discovery on top there. You know with that discovery, we will be able to refute the philosophy of following persons. The philosophy of getting lost into the institutions. The philosophy of following into uh, inhumane traditions and many, many others. Number two, we will discover, and I love this, we will discover that we have a promised home in heaven. We will discover that we have a promised home in heaven. Somebody may want to ask me, now, Father C.K., tell us, when we have discovered that we have a promised home in heaven, what happens? Somebody may say that now we start expecting, you know, uh, joyously expecting that one day we join that heaven. That is okay. But the primary thing before we start now hoping and jumping around waiting for the heavenly realities we are reminded that where you are, make it a replica of the promised home in heaven. Where you are, make it a replica of the promised home in heaven. Make your own family home, your small heaven. Make your office, your small heaven. Let your ministry be, your small heaven. Every engagement, make it your small heaven. That way, it keeps you on a constant reminder that I have a promised home in heaven. And before I get there, I realize my heaven here as I try to turn my life to reflect the eternal bliss that I will be able to enjoy with God in eternity. Discovery number three, we discover that we are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. We discover that we are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Kindly read Romans 8, 17. Now this is important. Once we have known that, we will not kill each other because of the tactile earthly properties because if we are joint heirs with Christ, I don't think there is anything bigger than you would ever expect in life than that. 
So I will never fail to go to bed because my brother has a nice phone and I do not have a nice phone. If I get mine in God's time, the better. But I will not, I will not harm any life because I may not be as privileged as another person may be privileged because I am able to transshed all the tactile properties knowing that if I was to have one, it must come in God's design because my focus is not what I can see and touch now, but my focus is the heavenlies. Thank you. Thank you. We will pick it up from there tomorrow. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, keep enjoying this day. Asante sana. Thank you so much.